Okay, sorry about that. Uh, internet issues as always. Okay, um, guys, please like the stream again. I'll appreciate that. Okay. Acha. So let's get back to work. Sir, can you do domain and range of modulus functions too? Uh, let's see. Let's see. No, but I don't think I will be able to cover ln and exponential graphs. Just hope you paper one minute so that we can do it for paper two. Okay. Oh, okay. Now. So basically, now that we have done this, so before we got disconnected, I asked you guys one question, and the question was that. So when it says here that use your graph to solve the inequality, sorry about that, x minus five absolute is greater than six minus absolute up to x minus seven. So what graph do we want to be above and what graph should it be above of? Okay, should the blue one be above the red one or should the red one be above the blue one? Have a good look at it. Listen to my question carefully and then answer accordingly. How did you get five and four was plugged in? Okay, so if you plug in four, where, where exactly are you talking about? So if I plug in four, so two times, okay, so two times five is 10. 10 minus seven is, wait a minute, did I get five or was it something else? Two minus, maybe it's not five, okay, maybe you're right. Yeah, of course, when you plug in four, you get five, okay? So plug in four, you get five. Yeah, okay, so we want the blue graph to be above the red one, okay? So since x minus five is made with the color blue and this is the one that's greater, so that means you want the blue graph to be above the red one, okay? So blue above red. So basically, we want the range of x, okay? We want the range of x for which the blue graph is above the red graph, okay? What do we want? We want the range of x for which the blue graph is above the red graph, okay? So that means one of them is this one, the one that I'm highlighting in green, and the other could be the one that I'm now highlighting in purple, okay? Okay, so who can tell me the green one, considering that the value of x is two? So tell me the green one and also tell me the one in purple. Okay, x is less than two, x is greater than six. Very good, that's correct. Good job, um, Huda and Mohammed Mustafa and Esan Ulhaq. Okay, x is less than two, okay. Or x is greater than six. Take it, there you go, that's your answer. x is less than two or x is greater than six. How to do part B without graph? Well, you can square both sides and then do it, okay. But before you square both sides, okay, um, this is going to get tricky. I will not recommend that you do, actually, it's not possible for you to do part B without graphs, okay? It's best that you make a graph of part B and then do it. Uh, sir, is there an issue if I had my answer in three significant figures in all math? But I really can't say that, okay? Let's, let's focus on what we're doing right now. Okay, whatever I say, you can't say, change anything, okay? Okay, so this is a similar question, which is why I'm gonna skip this, okay? So I'm gonna skip this, okay? Why? Because it is similar to the above question. So you guys can print this out, practice it to yourself, okay? Let's do cubic graphs, okay? Let's do cubic graphs, okay? Okay, now just to give you guys a brief intro of cubic graphs, okay, a brief intro. I have a detailed video of it, polynomials ke naam se, uska maine se part one, but now I haven't made the chance to part two, but this stream will sort of work as part two, okay? Acha. So basically, how to sketch 
cubic rows. No, no, of course I won't be able to keep a stream for math tonight. Okay. So first thing you need to know is that, let's say you have y is equals to k, x minus a, x minus b, x minus c. Okay. Now one thing that's very important for you guys to know, how long will the stream last? Well, probably um, another 30 minutes, I think, at max. First thing you guys need to know is the value of k. Okay. I made a post of this on Instagram also. Okay. Make sure to check that out. I've sort of summarized everything. Okay, so the first and the foremost important thing is k. So if k is greater than zero, okay, and k could be less than zero. Okay, k could be greater than zero and k could be less than zero also. Can be found by input x is zero. Okay, um, no, no, k is basically the coefficient of x cubed. Just so you know, this k here basically represents the coefficient, I don't know if that's how you spell coefficient, but the coefficient of x cube. Okay. So basically, just as when we're making cubic graphs, it's important for us to know what it's important for us to know what the coefficient of x square is, because that is what then decides the shape of the curve, right? Just like that over here, it's also important for us to know what the coefficient of x cube is, because that is what's going to decide the shape of the curve. So if you have, let's say, let's say if you have in fact, I'm not gonna, um, there's no need to make this line over here. If let's say k is greater than zero, that means our graph is going to be something like this, okay? But if k is less than zero, that means our graph is going to be something like this. Okay. And everything else remains the same. For x intercepts, set y is equals to zero. And for y intercepts, set x equals to zero. Okay, but this is something that you need to know. Okay, I will share detailed notes, notes of this topic on uh, in the description okay so you can go download uh, download them from there take okay. a let's do some questions okay let's do this question take okay. okay so this question says so if k is not shown you mean if k is not shown okay so if k is not shown you can work it out yourself okay i'll tell you how you can work it out yourself you can mentally multiply all the coefficients of x and then understand uh, okay basically what will be the coefficient of x cubed? Okay. okay, so it says on the axis, sketch the graph of y is equals to 5, x plus 1, 3x minus 2, x minus 2. So we can see here that the coefficient of x cubed is 5. So just make a shape of the curve that this is what it's going to be like. Okay, <coughs> okay. now how will we find out the x intercepts? x intercepts will be found by replacing y with 0. So 5, x plus 1, 3x minus 2 x minus 2 is equals to 0. Okay, 5 is going to go over to the other side, get divided by 0. So that means it's 0. So x plus 1 is equals to 0. 3x minus 2 is equals to 0. x minus 2 is equals to 0. So x is equals to minus 1. x is equals to 2 upon 3. Or x is equals to 2. Okay. So minus 1 is going to be over here somewhere. Okay. 1 is going to be over here somewhere. 2 is going to be over here somewhere. In fact, you know what? Let's just space them out. So our graph looks nice. Let's say minus one is over here, and that means one is over here, which means that two is going to be over here. Okay, yeah, this looks nicer. Now, next thing you want to do is you want to find out the y-intercept. Okay, so in order to find out the y-intercept, I'm just going to use my calculator and plug in zero in place of x. Okay, zero in place of x. So zero plus one, bracket close. Three into zero is zero, zero minus two. So let's do that in a calculator. Three into zero minus two, bracket close. And then zero minus two. So y-intercept, I'll write down over here for y-intercept, x equals to 0. And you know what a y-intercept turns out to be? Or y-intercept turns out to be 20. Okay. Can anyone just double check and make sure k it's 20? So I know that I haven't made a calculation error or something. So 1 minus 2 minus 2 into 5. So minus 2 into minus 2 is 4.5 is 20. Yes, take Okay, so the y-intercept is 20. So that means 20 is going to be over here. Okay. Now that you have everything, okay, now that you have everything sorted out, what are we going to do now is we're going to make our curve. Okay. So how is this going to be? How is this going to look like? It's going to look something like this. Achha, yes, or any that your curve turns at 20 also. Okay, if it does, that's great. That's not what the examiner is looking for. The examiner is not looking for the turning point. Okay. But the examiner is looking for <coughs> the x and the y intercepts. Okay. 
So this is what it's going to be like. There you go. That's it. That's it, answer. Take care. So pretty easy, no? Uh, so then it says, hence find the values of x for which 5, x plus 1, 3x minus 2 is greater than 0. Okay, greater than 0. So what does greater than 0 mean? Above the x-axis or below the x-axis? Uh, so I can see that um, still a lot of you haven't liked the stream yet. If you would do that, that would mean a lot. Does the turning point? No, turning point does not matter. Oh, wait, 1 is not an intercept. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. The intercept is actually... Uh, 2 upon 3 sorry the intercept is 2 upon 3 okay so that ch that kind of changes it so 2 upon 3 means 0 0.66 so let's okay there you go Achha, so the next uh, answer to my next question is k Above the x-axis, yes, that's great. And thank you for whoever pointed out x is not 2.3, okay. So above the x-axis means that this region that I'm highlighting in purple, okay, now I want one of you to tell me the region that I've, hi I mean, the range that I've highlighted in purple, and I want one of you to tell me the range that I've highlighted in green. What answer am I Okay, so we have an answer, x is, x is, x is, Okay, no, that's that's not the correct answer, Hassan. That's not the correct answer. Okay, let's talk about the one in purple. What is that going to be? Yes, uh, yes. X is so basically x is greater than minus one, take care, and less than two upon three. Okay. And the green one is going to be x is greater than 2. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Good job. Good job. Okay. Okay, this is integration. I will remove this from here. Okay. Okay, let's do. Achha, this is similar, so I'm gonna skip this. Take a similar question. Let's go skip. Karte. This I would like to do because this has absolute in it. Okay, it's a three mark question. It has absolute in it also. So this I would really like to do. Okay. So first things first. What is the coefficient of x going to be? X times x is x. X times x is x cubed. That means k. It's going to be positive one. Okay. Now since it's positive, that means it's going to be something like this. Okay. So what are the x intercepts? Pele kam karte hai, pele zara isko label kar lete hai. 1, 2, and 3. This is going to be minus 1, minus 2. Okay, so these are your x, uh, x intercepts kya honge aapke? X intercepts.